Alexander Wade Saranek, and this is my genome. <laughs> and of course, you'll have to wait about a year of slides just like this to actually see my whole genome, or you could download it from the Harvard Personal Genome Project and my medical records and the data of hundreds of other volunteers at the project. So, of course, making sense of all of this data is really hard, and we're going to need millions of people to be able to do that. Well-characterized people, not just genomes with no other information. Now, luckily, we are going to expect maybe five million genomes uh, in the United States in the next five years, but that gives us a new problem. We're going to have 500,000 terabytes of raw data. And that raw data, you know, doesn't seem so bad when we have a few genomes, and there they are sitting on your desk in your lab. But when you have hundreds of thousands of hard drives sitting around in labs all over the world, you, you really start to get an idea that, wow, we, we need something better than this. You know, we need a platform. And of course, the internet scale companies, Microsoft, Google, Amazon, I mean, they all have awesome platforms. But in Biomed, there are a lot of requirements that they don't have. One of the most obvious is sharing. All of this data is not going to end up in one place. You need to let other organizations compute on the data in your data center. Mark and Larry don't have this problem. Google and Facebook, they, they don't have to worry about letting each other compute in their data center. But Partners Healthcare and Mayo Clinic do. You know, sharing is essential. Governance is also essential. I'm sharing my genome with you, but the vast majority of people are not going to share. They need to be able to keep their data secure. But how do we, res how do we resolve the, sh the need for sharing and the need for security? We also need to be able to know where this data comes from. When you, when you have 500,000 terabytes, the vast majority of the data you work with day to day is going to be much smaller. So what was the process by which you actually generated the data set you work with? You really want to know the exact details of that. You want to be able to repeat that even five years later. You don't need to do that in, a, in, in, in other fields. When somebody searches for Paris Hilton, five years later, nobody really cares to get exactly the same results, even though you know, there were petabytes of data involved in that search. But in, in clinical diagnostics, that's actually pretty important. <laughs> this data is very unique. It's extremely compressible, but you can't just compress it with a like G-zip. You need data structures and search algorithms that are very specific to the data. We don't have that anywhere else. When you take all of these, all of these features and you put them together, we could really transform uh, healthcare. But you know, how, do, how do we do that? As we, as, we, as we weave these features together, we end up building something that that no one organization can do by themselves. We need to get away from building this infrastructure institution by institution by institution, do-it-yourself project by do-it-yourself project. We need something that's open, that's, that's open source and open data so that there's a foundation to build on for other private innovations and public ones. Now, we've been doing this at, the, at Harvard PGP for almost a decade now. These are a couple of racks that I, I actually built, and about, through about 300 terabytes of data. You can, um, you can play with this stuff, you know, whether you're a scientist or a clinician or you're just a lay person that wants to help out. You know, you don't have to be a burly construction <laughs> worker, but, uh, but you can come and download the code. You can come and look at the mailing list. You can join the chat rooms. You can look at our roadmap. You can help build this thing together. And you know, I think that if we don't do that, then many of the organizations here are going to reinvent the wheel. They're going to want to share, and they're not going to be able to do it. So I'm Sasha. Um, you can download my genome. And I hope you'll come join our Vados.org. <laughs>